Hello everybody, Happy New Year. Uh, ben here from Broadside Empires of Steel uh, with a retro retrospective on uh, 2023 and what we managed to achieve. Um, so the first thing we did was change the game from just seven nations to all nine nations and there they are. Fantastic stuff. Very happy with that. And um, we'll go to this camera where you can see the Ottomans and the French in all their glory. We did have um, one fort, but now we have two, and the Ottomans will play those uh, two forts in a 600 point game. All right. The other thing that we did in 23 was bring you the advanced rule supplement. Now that's a free download from our webpage, uh, and that uh, shows you how to use the forts for the Ottomans, it shows you how to use submarines, aircraft, uh, and mines, which are all now part of the game. Uh, so instead of them being in a campaign book or in a scenario, now you can play submarines, aircraft, uh, and forts along with all your other ships in perfectly normal games, not scenario related games. Yeah, okay, so. Some of the material things that we did in 23 was replace all our cardboard sea zone templates. I'm trying to get a nice angle so you can see it without all the light glare. With these, these transparent acrylic bases, um, we have or they come with the lines marked on them. You just color those in. Um, and when you order these through the fleet builder, they will come with the acrylic base and the sticker. Um, and that will be included in the price of the ship as well. So you get, when you go to um, Broadside Empires of Steel, uh, shipyards, you um, log in, create an account, and then you choose a nation, add the ships you want, hit purchase, and then you'll pay for them there. Um, your postage, the bases, the stickers, and the miniatures themselves are all, all included in the price. Um, okay, so other things that we did that were pretty cool. Let's go turn that one around. There we go. So those are acrylic tokens, transparent acrylic tokens. Um, then they replace the 3D printed ones that we were using before. I'm pretty happy with those. They look great on table as well. So yes, acrylic bases and acrylic tokens, uh, a new rule set, uh, aircraft and submarines and forts in the main game, two new nations, the Ottomans and French. And that's what we achieved in 2023. Uh, <laughs> it's gone now, so I don't have to have to say it again. Um, so in 24, I won't, don't want to make too many announcements and um, those sorts of things, but uh, we'll start probably the year by going back over some of our other nations and uh, making sure that we're um, filling in those those gaps that um, some navies need, like the US Navy, we haven't been back to, to uh, look after for a while. And we'll probably do a quick starter to, to fill in the gaps, like St. Vincent, for example, the only dreadnought that we haven't done yet. All right, so more on 2024 later on. Uh, that was what we achieved in 23. Thanks for watching.